What's going on, JR Garage? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to beautiful, sunny Arizona. Now, I know I said this would be a UGR twin turbo rebuild video, and yes, that is coming soon, but we're gonna have to push it off until next video because we have a bombshell going off in the electric car market with the drop of the Rivian R1T. This thing was revealed at the LA Auto Show and it sent shockwaves through the industry and a lot of people are going pretty crazy over this thing on social media, YouTube and beyond. And uh, teaser, sneak peek, um, we ordered one. Oh boy, we had to see what it was all about and it is pretty amazing. Let's just talk about the quick specs because this will really put things into perspective and get you guys maybe serious about this. Range over 400 miles courtesy of a 180 kilowatt hour battery pack. That is That's huge. Crazy. Two like, and a half times the size of this battery pack. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. And that is because this thing is a truck. This thing is meant for utility to haul, but also meant for pretty amazing or, or new unique looks. Well, uh, let me know what you guys think of that. That's to everybody's own opinion. The vertical headlights, it sounds like they're here to stay. So everybody's wondering if that's just a concept car, but it sounds like that is the production ready vehicle. And it sounds like they wanna be known for those vertical headlights. So I think they're sticking around and just a little bit more time and I'm sure people will, uh, it'll grow on people just like the no grill of the tesla when they did that facelift i think it'll be the same thing yeah comment down below what you think we're gonna be putting in a ton of video clips i think it looks pretty awesome it's a nice departure on styling yeah the vertical headlights i was like mm, but now it's like you know what you know what we're going into the future this looks like a futuristic car let's go yeah so that's kind of our thoughts and then of course it's not just got it doesn't have just crazy range and big battery pack that also translates to incredibly fast performance acceleration times which are almost unheard of well they are unheard of right now for trucks that size so they're talking zero to 60 in a blisteringly quick 2.8 seconds under three seconds i think they're claiming which is just mind-boggling because oh the model goodness. x even i mean p90d ludicrous top of the line car a couple years back i mean that does 3.2 3.3 seconds zero to 60 this being 2.8 if it's anywhere around that would be absolutely nutsy boop boop that's right i was just saying utility but no this thing is all out fun adventure crazy fast speeds crazy off-road it's a full-size five seats maybe not quite the length of a full-size full-size but between a mid-size truck and a full-size truck and it can go like anywhere and seemingly do anything like we love trucks just have never owned one because really haven't had the need back home in dc don't have big trucks but here in arizona all oh, the off-road yeah. trails like we're in north scottsdale right now i mean everywhere you look is some sort of dirt bike trail or uh, razor trail off-road trail that i'm sure you can take trucks on so that's going to be so much fun when we do get it and uh we're also talking full level three autonomous driving yeah. on road and off the road they claim yes. i don't know how that's yes. gonna happen but. and included standard on all the cars they're claiming whoa which starting yeah. price you guys are wondering is this thing 250 grand 100 grand no they're saying start price of sixty nine thousand dollars, which is way lower than i thought yeah. for those specs that sounds it, everyone is just saying this sounds too good to be true but oh my gosh if they do get it done and do build these vehicles like it's gonna be game changing which yeah. 100% it will. Like if they can live up to the, what they're saying, oh my gosh, right. they are going to really, really yeah. be forced to be reckoned with. Just a little while ago, it was too good to be true, but electric has come so strong and so far in the past few years. And they're only getting better and better and better. I swear, we'll look back at this video in five or 10 years and like range will be the norm at like, I don't know, 800 miles on the charger, 1,000 miles on the charger, who knows, I don't know. It's just gonna get better and better and better, whereas internal combustion engines are like almost at the peak of their um, efficiency, I yeah. guess. Like, they're not getting too much better. Exactly. Also, this company, Rivian, what's their background? Take them seriously. Uh, before, they were kind of stealth under wraps. They were working on this hard to uh, put out a production-ready vehicle like this, but also, uh, it's thanks to 600 employees I was reading and they just pulled down Mitsubishi's old production line plant huge deal right here in Illinois and if you're more of an SUV person over trucks then you're in luck because they also came out with the R1S the SUV version which is 
equally as good looking and revolutionary. Um, but that one is gonna seat up to seven people, but uh, with the max battery pack, 180 kilowatts, you are gonna lose those two rear seats, I believe. But that one's gonna be a smidge more expensive. It's gonna tow a little bit less. I don't think we hit on towing yet. The truck's gonna do 11,000 pounds, 5,000 kilograms. And then the SUV is gonna be, I think in 77,000 range, 78,000 range, so a little bit less. So I can keep in mind, um, but you do have the option of going the SUV. We were considering it back and forth. We're like, oh, truck SUV. Um, I think if the SUV wasn't gonna come out later than the truck, truck's gonna be first. So we kind of want to be right on the edge and get ours early. So I think we're leaning toward the truck, but comment down below. It's not too late to change or edit the reservation. R1T or SUV R1S, what do you guys think? I think the truck would be a pretty cool aspect. Never really been done before on our channel. Um, and it's definitely popular on YouTube, off-roading, Raptors, all that good stuff. But the SUV is also pretty awesome looking. It's, it's like, kind of like a navigator or a big, yeah. you know, car to really lug around a lot of people. So, and, but, but I don't that, know. Uh, like Tesla, they're built on the same chassis, skateboard, platform kind of, like the Model S, the Model X, and then the Model 3, and then the Model Y that'll soon be coming out as the crossover SUV for Tesla. Speaking of Tesla, it reminded me we have one last huge update on Tesla and the uh, federal tax credit as well as the six months of free supercharging so to place an order on a new car and get it while that $7,500 tax credit is still in effect is going to be tough nearly impossible a performance would be the only long shot but what is guaranteed is if you can find a inventory car either a, a test drive demo car that they were doing or a car that somebody changed their mind on and is sitting in inventory you can purchase that car right away get it in time before the end of the year and get the full $7,500 tax credit. Definitely look out for an inventory car. If you have any more questions on that, we've actually done it before. So drop us an email. We'll give you everything you need to know. Well, maybe we can uh, even point you in the right direction to helping find an inventory car that'll work for you. So you can get it before the end of the year, get the full $7,500 tax credit. And six months of free supercharging. Like this is, yeah. I, I think this re uh, referral system is ending in like three days, this program for six months of free supercharging. So you don't want to miss out on that. You want to take advantage of our referral code. It means a lot to us. And it's a way of saying thank you. Remember guys, you are invited to drop and to come out to here to Arizona to drive our 2020 Tesla Roadster when it comes. Yes. So, or where, or wherever we take that Roadster, we want to go on a full US tour, stop by as many Tesla dealerships that we can, do meetups there with the Roadster and have you guys come out and drive it there too. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So we're not trying to push you into buying something quickly here. We want you to be happy with your purchase, but you'll be a lot more happy with your purchase if you save a ton of money, which you are in this short window. So inventory cars, buying them now, getting them before the end of the year. Email us with any questions, jrgarage22 at gmail.com. And speaking of Tesla, a lot of people have made videos like, oh, Rivian, Tesla killer, like da 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 da. And it's like, no, because Tesla really, their mission is to transform the way transportation works. And it's, it's not to kill off all the competition and be the last man standing. And a lot of people, for some reason, are thinking that and like, oh, we need to kill off Tesla with these new companies and stuff. And competition is totally good. This is gonna really like make Tesla like, okay, now we gotta step up our game on our truck even more. Like that's awesome. Competition is great for consumers, but it's not a Tesla killer. It's an internal combustion engine car killer like that's what it should be truck like killer. a truck killer like yeah. that's more so what it should be I, I just saw a few videos like tesla killer and stuff and it's like we should stray away from that word a little bit comment down below what you guys think if you're excited for us making the order i mean it's it's not too much to order if you guys are interested too you know check out all the links below for more information about the vehicles but you can also order um i think they're just requiring a thousand dollars up front for a reservation to hold your place in line right yeah yeah it's basically just get your spot in line so you're not pushed back hundreds thousands of people when they start making these cars and they're saying delivery times in the late second half of 2020 so we're like a year and a half away 18 to 24 months they're saying which would be like awesome i swear like we said if this thing comes out like they say it will then this is going to be one awesome vehicle so that's why we're excited that's why we got our spot in line that's why we ordered one so guys we covered a lot in this video a lot of electric car news you know how much we love that and we're just so excited for what's to come yeah guys so drop your final comments down below what you think of the new Rivian. I liked the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. You're not gonna wanna miss the Rivian content when eventually it comes, even though that's very, very far out. Um, but there's a bunch of Tesla stuff in between and the UGR content, the twin turbo Lamborghini. The next video will be either 
putting some more stuff back together. We bought some more suspension components and parts to get it back together. Or maybe, if we're lucky, a first startup. We are super excited for that. Whenever that video comes, you're not gonna wanna miss that. So subscribe if you're new, keep an eye out for that content, and we will see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.